we're back. Uh, here in Taurus in our little hideaway apartment with Karth. We just escaped the Indar Spire and... Hey guys, uh, future editor Trilo here with some bad news. I have noticed a very stupid mistake that is hard to not notice uh, with the current display mode that is going on with the game. If you look at the bottom left and right of the screen, whichever way it is, uh, you'll see that my character frame and some of the uh, action buttons for the health med packs and things like that are actually cut off a little bit because of the change I made to fix the cinematics. That issue is going to stick around for the rest of the recording session up until about episode 8 or 9, at which point it will be fixed. I apologize for that, but given that the game is more dialogue-centric and exploration-centric as opposed to combat, I'm just going to proceed as if it's not an issue and hope you guys are understanding. All right, peace. We're gonna do a little bit of exploring, try to figure out where our uh, ally Bastila is and whether or not she's still alive. So here we have a crafting bench, and basically what the game is telling us is that we can use these to upgrade a select number of special items in the game, one of which is a prototype vibroblade we got in the last episode. And we can use the vibration cells, bonding alloys, and energy projectors to increase the effectiveness of these items. So we'll go ahead and do that, and our character does a nice little flourish. That's fun. And let's tie let's go out and explore. We'll have to take Karth. Okay. Come along, Karth. Right, right you alien scum. Everybody get up against the wall. This is a raid. Hopefully I have the right item level. Poor little alien. Guess he's not that little. He's That's about average height. That's how we sit deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! Well, that's just jumping to conclusions. It's the total correct conclusion, but still. I'm gonna go after the human first. Oh, the aliens help with us. Never mind the Twi'lek in the background. Poor Ixil, he should have never talked back to the Sith. Thankfully, you were here to step in and help us, human. Didn't do much good for Ixil. This isn't the first time the Sith have come in here to cause trouble for us, but hopefully it will be the last. Won't someone come searching for this patrol? Don't worry about the bodies, I will move them so it looks like they were killed elsewhere. I should throw the Sith off the track. Until they find you in the process of moving the bodies. Saiyan. Any luck, they won't be bothering us again for a while. Is it not too jarring me talking over the alien? Okay, just making sure. Oh, I leveled up. Let's do the level up too. So one thing that uh, I wanted to point out is different characters in the game will have different light and dark affinities, which we can see here. Uh, Karth is very heavy into light side. Makes sense for a Republic soldier, I suppose. Whereas my character is squarely in the middle and gray neutral at the moment. So depending on what dialogue options I choose, what actions I take, my character will go more light side or more dark side. Means to be seen which way we go this game, though. Well, we'll go ahead and focus on the same ones we did before. Uh, stealth, Awareness, Persuasion, and Treat Injury and Security. Looks like we're going to have to leave Repair behind unless we start getting more skill points a lot more quickly, but that's okay. Bad form for a single character to be focused on every single skill anyway. So, if we come across a locked door like this, uh, we have a couple of options sometimes. We can bash it with our weapons, we can try to pick it open with security skill, and this last one is for demolition oh, skill. But for Got now, it. we'll just pick the lock, because we like exploring and looting rooms and stuff. I'm sure the inhabitants won't mind. So we got a named character here, Who so I'll talk you? to her. What are you doing in here? 
You can't just come barging into someone's home. Sorry, I was just investigating. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least you're more polite than that pig Holden. No, everything I've learned in video games from the likes of Zelda told me I should go into every house ever and break all the pots. Holden, who's that? Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. What do you mean? I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. Persuade, you can trust me. Maybe well, I, I can help. You seem like an all right sort. When I cut Holden, it made him back off, but it also embarrassed him in front of his friends. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what That's I did. That's just offensive. That's why I'm hiding out here. Maybe it's offensive to the huts. We don't know. Uh, is there anything I can I do to help? It. Holden is one of Darvik's men. When you work for the local crime lord, the authorities tend to turn a blind eye. I'm afraid this is between me and Holden now. Maybe I could speak could to Holden try, for you. He usually hangs out at the cantina in the lower city. It probably won't do any good. Holden's used to getting his own way. That's one of the fringe benefits of being a goon for Darvik. Working for the local crime lord lets you get away with things. Still, I appreciate the offer. I'll Goodbye be going now. Good luck. I hope you can talk some sense into Holden. Alright, so journal entry added. So, that's your first little uh, reflection of uh, possible ways to go light side and dark side in the game. I could have attacked her for the bounty, and that would have been a very mean thing to do. I decided to continue the questline for a little bit more, though, and we'll see what I do going forward. Well, I don't see too many of your kind around here. Most of the residents in this rundown apartment are illegal aliens. My name is Laren, by the way. Uh, pleased to meet you. My name is Trilo. I really know it's known on my business, but you look like someone who might need to purchase one of those new energy shields. They're the latest thing, you know. Very high tech. I know all about energy shields, and I do. I've played this game dozens of times before. Oh, okay. Well, then you might be interested in looking at the ones I have for sale. It's not cheap, but it could be the difference between life and death. Basically, energy shields are useful against different energy-based attacks, hence the energy shield bit. Blasters and energy-based melee weapons, things like that. You want to see what I have in stock? I know my kiosk isn't much to look at, but my prices are reasonable, and the merchandise is sound. Uh, I'll be going now. No thank you. Trusting my treat injury skill to keep me alive for the most part at the moment. Thank you, little Twi'lek. And low security door, we can pick it. So, got another character, this one not named. And got a bag with some parts, credits, and a computer spec. So you can see most of the non-named characters in the games will say stuff, just not actual dialogue options for you. Apparently she's afraid. I can't imagine why. It's only a couple of soldier-like characters walking into your apartment with weapons. Hello, Gordon. I'm gonna go ahead and keep exploring this area before I go out to the upper city. Oh. Uh, I'll just be taking this little Lithorian. Hope you don't mind. Please don't hurt me. I mean, credits tend to be of value. And got another room over here. No problem. Too bad. Got it. Oh, no one's even in here. I don't have to feel bad about taking their stuff. Never mind the bit where, uh taking stuff out of people's rooms who are clearly in a desperate situation doesn't affect the light and the dark sides of the forest at all. It'll be okay. So, and now we're back at my apartment. So, that's all we have here. And... Let's see, where was that door? There it is. To the upper city, I should think. Upper city south. Saving and looting. Sounds like a good idea to me. Keep things saved on the individual file, just in case. As a sidebar, the game has done so much better this time around than I'm used to it doing. By now it's probably crashed for me four or five times in 
previous playthroughs. Something seems to be bothering Kurt. Maybe you should speak to him and see what you can get him to open up about. Okay, let's pry. Yes, what's on your mind? Uh, I'd like to know something about you, Me? Kurt. Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. I've seen more than my share of wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter these Sith animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. You're talking like it's your fault, like you failed somehow? Sorry, Karth, this must be painful for you. Or calm down, I was just asking. Let's go with I'm sorry, I'm just Karth. a soldier. I go where the fleet admirals tell me to. I follow my orders and I do my duty. It, it's just... <sighs> Doesn't seem right that doing that means I failed them. I, I didn't. Them? Do you mean the people of your home world? Sorry, Karth, didn't mean to upset you. Hey, why are you getting so mad? Go with no, I. It's not what I mean. I mean, I, I'm sorry. I'm not making much sense, am I? You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much, at all, actually. I'm more used to taking action, keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Uh, he is a little shut in, isn't he? Okay. Uh, let's go into the equipment emporium. Hello. Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kevla Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? mostly. What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Let me see what you have for sale. Just so you know, the prices on the items are final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top-notch stuff. Alright, so... Let's see what I have to sell. Got a combat suit, which I might actually use on my main character. Got a couple of vibra blades. Let's sell the long sword. The short sword. These blaster pistols, don't really need them, nor the iron blasters. I'll keep the grenades just in case, and we also have some stimulants down here. For those not knowing, you can basically use stimulants like this in combat to increase your stats for a short amount of time and potentially kill or defeat uh, dif difficult characters that you might not always otherwise be able to contest. Is this any good? Maybe. I do already have a upgraded vibro blade though, so I might be inclined to keep it. Um, got some mines. Got some still field generators. Got some grenades. Of interest to me right now is this permacrete detonator. Uh, it's, it's extremely complicated and can only be used by someone trained to use it. Um. I'm going to go ahead and pick it up anyway. It's not that expensive. And let's go. Before we let's go, let's put the combat suit on. Here we are. And we keep walking this way. Uh, hello, Mr. Sith Trooper. Don't bother me. I'm here on official Sith business. Looks like you're kind of just standing in there and doing nothing to me, bud. Cantina entrance. Da, 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 da. Um, hello. Don't you just Christia. love watching Kazakh players? All that strategy, all those credits. It's enough to make a girl get all flushed. You shall. Okay. What do you want? Have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Kazakh player on Taurus? <laughs> Uh, who are My you? My name is Niklos. I'm the unofficial champion of unofficial. the Kazakh circuit here on Taurus. If you don't mind losing your wager, we could play a few hands. Because you don't, don't have, a deck. have your own deck? Then why are you bothering me? You can't play Pazak without your own deck. If you're serious about Pazak, go speak to old Garok on the other side of the tavern. 
His gambling days are over, and uh, he's looking to sell his deck. Okay. So, Pazak is a little mini game within KOTOR. Hello there, youngster. Uh, similar you to Blackjack. The deck of an old man uh, looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 good. credits, and I'll sell you all my cards. Might play it a few rounds. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal if you can afford it. Sure, I'll Glad buy to your see deck. You're interested in the grand old game. The rules are pretty simple. Here, I'll load them up into your data pad so you can check them out anytime you want. Good luck. I hope the game's as good to you as it was to me. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Mm, I'd like a Pazak lesson, please. So, basically, we've got these uh, available cards here that we can make a, a deck with. And whenever we start the game, uh, we draw a random set of four cards from our deck, and we try to get the total number we're dealt with up to a maximum of 20, but not over. Now, if we go over, we automatically lose the round. But for now, I will pass to my opponent, and let's see, so I've got a four, he's got an eight. Uh, I'll pass one more time. Oh, made 20 precisely. Go me. And he went over, so I win that set. So yeah, it's whoever can get to 20 uh, the quickest, or as close to 20 without going over. And we can use these cards to help us along the way like this. That's a perfect 20, so I'll go ahead and play it. Boom, boom. Oh no. In addition to cards that positively affect it, as you can see, there are also red cards which will decrease the number. Keep pressing for a higher number, and we'll go for 20. Boom, boom. Oh, okay. Fine. Mm, press one more time. Mm, press one more time. And um, it has to be a one. It is not. I am sad. It was a no win situation. But now we're tied up at one. Boom, boom, boom. Don't put it over to me. And keep going. I don't have a three. I would like a three. I don't think 17 is going to win it for us, though. We win the set. Mm. I feel like we could stand here. And old man wins. Oh well. Maybe he should have given me the cards he was playing with instead of the deck he sold me. He's hustling me, man. I don't think there was a named character here. Hi there. I haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't give us Sith officers from the military base much time off. You're from the military base? You don't look like I'm one of the Sith. right now, so I'm not in uniform. My name is Sana, junior officer, first class with the Sith occupation force. Nice to meet you. Is it though? I'm not First interested you come in over checking. And say hi, then you scurry I don't want to associate with Sith. They might find out who I am. Are a funny bunch. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Yun Gendo. Sorry, but I'm not here looking for conversation. I just came to get a drink, listen to some music, and try to relax before my next shift at the military base. You don't look like a Sith. I don't wear my uniform when I'm off duty. It's not allowed. In fact, any the officers don't like it when we show up here off duty. They don't like us fraternizing with the locals, I guess. But it gets pretty stale hanging out around the base all the time. Besides, the Sith don't own me. Being a soldier in their fleet is just a job, you know? A job with long hours and low pay, I might add. 
Sounds like you aren't very happy. When I signed up, I was promised adventure and excitement in exotic locales. Instead, I end up stationed at a military base on some backwater planet on the fringes Poor of the galaxy. Planet. If I could just find some other way to earn some credits, I could give up this lousy job. Retire my uniform, so to speak. Be uh, going now. Okay. I'll well, see you around. Say, do me a favor and don't repeat all the stuff I just told you, eh? Might not go over well. Me if you don't tell anybody that I, you saw me at all. Think we'll be it. Yep, okay. How about you? No hard feelings, my good man. But I can't really talk with you right now. It's difficult enough to draw the interest of the ladies in this establishment as it is. Surely you understand what I'm talking about. I guess you've experienced many lonely evenings. Something I'm hoping to avoid tonight. Okay, horny bastard. You do you. Let's see, anybody in here? NPCs, party. Where named. did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the lower city? How and rude. where are those drinks we ordered? Sorry, not your waiter. You say? I get the feeling this spoiled brat could cause us more trouble than she's worth. Why is the help here so incompetent? One word from Daddy, and I could get you fired. Daddy. How go dare shut you up, speak spoiled to me brat. like that? Daddy's going to hear about this. Mm -hmm. Oh no, if he's running. Oh look, there's the waiter. Sorry, I'm too busy to talk. I've got to get these drink orders to the customers. And you don't have to worry about that customer anymore. I helped you out, bud. Might not get any tips this time, though. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match. Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? A duel. Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start. So quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Watch the view screen. Ladies says. and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I forgot my I give popcorn. Girl on two mm -hmm. fingers. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever persistent Dead Eye Duncan. Pistols? That's not where the pistol goes, dude. Oh, goodbye. And to nobody's great surprise, Deadeye is down again. Don't worry, folks. He's just unconscious. Just unconscious. As usual, our medics will okay. have him up and about in a bit. Poor well, guy. that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner. Girl on two fingers. Hmm. Interesting. Um, greedy. Oh, hello, Karth. Uh, oh, look, Twitch! Hey, 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 buddy. Y you want to give me some more followers and subscribers? Hey, buddy. <laughs> Ready, aim, fire. Is your trigger finger as itchy as mine? What the hell are you talking about? Shoot first, shoot last. Party with me, we'll have a blast. Uh, okay. I need to lay off the drugs, bud. Just, just a, just a recommendation. Uh, med pack, sure, fine. Uh, let's talk to the man in charge then, I guess. Mm. Sorry, human. The betting window's closed. No more fights. People are sick of seeing the same duelist all the time. Bad for business. Unless... My name is Ajur. Organize all the duels here. Need a new face in the dueling game, human. Maybe you want to step into the duel ring? It'd be a highly profitable venture. I'm sure. No death or dismember friend ever involved, I'm sure. Uh, might be interested. What's in it for me? I can arrange for you to fight in the duel. If you win, you get the standard contract. 10% of all wagers. Don't worry, nobody dies in the duel ring anymore. Death matches are illegal now. And I'm sure no accidents ever occur. Most fighters in the duel ring use fiber blades or stun sticks because the ring's small. Few duels use blasters, whichever you prefer. 
Ai, Paduana. Tava boa pra amor. Vibro blades and blasters? And nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a At least Karth sympathizes with my suspicions. Dual ring has energy suppressor fields to make sure no one dies. Weapons are limited so they hurt, but don't kill, and we've got a um, medic droid in case of serious injuries. Injuries. Are you interested? I'll do it, but I want more than 10%. Everyone wants more. Well, yeah, that's how it works. Fair pay for all, my friend. Oh, I get the same as others. 10% final offer. It's worth a shot. Okay, I'll do it. Good news. New blood for the ring. Need a nickname. Ice or Deadeye or Twitch. Good nicknames make people better more. Hmm, what's a good name for you? Trilobite. It's a wonderful name. You're an off world, you're new here. People won't recognize you. I know. From now on, in the duel ring, you'll be the mysterious stranger. Mmm, I like it. Perfect name for you. No past, no history. It's all a mystery. It makes you seem like you have some big, dark secret. People like that. Makes them better. Definitely no big dark secrets here. I'm definitely not like a Republic soldier or anything like that. Nope. This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across a crew manifest back on Indar Spire. Yeah, that's totally what I was thinking. You ready for a duel now? Might want to step into the ring right away. Set you up with Dead Eye Duncan to start. I'll tell you the rules if you're ready. Uh, I am ready for a duel. Yes, you fight, people bet, I make money. It's all good. One rule, nobody dies. If your opponent goes down, you don't finish them. Death matches are illegal now. I thought the suppressor fields were supposed to prevent that anyway. Keep my eye on you, buddy. If you knew at this, start you off easy fighting Deadeye Duncan. Ready to go into the ring now? Let's do it. Maybe we'll get lucky and he'll drop his pistol again. To the center ring, we have a very special presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh meat. In this corner, I give you Dead Eye Duncan, and in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene who absolutely refuses to face his opponent head on, apparently. And no name. Maybe it's part of the mysterious Taker. gimmick. Okay. Hello. Have at the... Oh, he's not even using a pistol. I guess he can't drop it if he's not using it. Go team! Fight! Fight! Well, that was a little anticlimactic. Maybe I'm just a, na a natural for this then. You have to do better than that to impress us, stranger. I don't care about impressing you. I just want the credits. Though I guess it's more impressive than I get in credits, huh? Alright, see you. Let's go talk to Big Slug Man. Get our money. Good fight, good fight. People like you, mysterious stranger. I bet a lot when you fight. Makes me happy and rich. Always pay my debts. You win, so you get paid. 10% of the purse was the deal. Here's your credits. Come see me when you're ready to fight again. So, I think that's enough for this episode. I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in, and I will see you guys next time where we continue our dueling adventures and exploring the upper city of Terrace. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you want to see more, or if you want to see these episodes recorded live, check out the Twitch channel, and be sure to subscribe and all that good stuff. Appreciate your time. Peace.